So we're going to look at short term out of the money calls right now. The stock price I can see is 443. And let's say like I want to bet on whether or not it's going to go to 447. If I want to buy an option, I go to the ask column and I can click on buy. We'll go ahead and just place that order for giggles. Place order, transmit. So the order is submitted, but until someone actually picks that up, it might not fill. You notice I did 475, but now it's up to a bit of 485, which means people are paying more than what I offered. 12 seconds later. So I now have this option. What I've got here is a delta of 0.43 and a theta of negative 2.69. What that means is that the value of this is gonna drop by $269 a day. I've got two days left and it's at 475. So that's about right. It's gonna lose half of its value today, pretty much in half of it tomorrow. And the delta of 0.438 means that if the price of Tesla goes up by a dollar, I'm gonna gain only $40. A $40 gain or a $40 loss on a $400 investment is like a 10% change. So that's dramatic. I'm losing a lot of money very quickly if Tesla goes up and down a dollar. And if you have seen the price for Tesla and watched it, you'll know that it goes up a dollar or down a dollar just minute to minute. Right at this moment, for example, it's down $17 for the day. Now, if you do a little bit of math, you realize because the Delta is 0.4, and it's only $400, if the price drops $11, that would imply that the price goes to zero, but that's not actually how it happens. As the price goes up and down, the delta will go up and down. If Tesla were to drop by $5, then my delta here would probably drop from 0.4 to you know 0.2. And you can see that as you go further out of the money to higher and higher priced, for example, the 455 strike price, your delta is 0.25, which means as the price goes up and down, you're only gaining $25 instead of $44. But you'll also notice that your theta is not that much better. For theta being negative 2.6, I pretty much have to go up 2.6 divided by 0.4. I mean, I've got to go up like six or $7 today just to break even, which is pretty risky. Likewise, for the 450, it's even worse. In this case, I pretty much have to go up about eight or $9 to break even. This is going to accelerate as I get closer to expiration. The theta is going to go up, the delta is going to be more flat, and once it gets closer to expiration, it's going to take more and more of a miracle for the price to change. But you'll also notice these are cheap. You know, if I go far enough out of the money for $29, I can get this option. And if the price goes above 270 in the next two days, which probably isn't going to happen, but you never know, I could have a huge return on this.